So I recently had an issue with my water leaking in my bathtub. I was able to remove the panel here and look in there. And I found that the water was dripping from the cold water faucet. So what I'm gonna be doing is removing this cold water faucet handle and looking for where it's leaking out. But first I need to shut off the main water valve to our house. My main water shutoff valve was located inside the house. Yours may be located outside. You can take a look at your inspection report that you got when you bought the house, and it should, under the plumbing section, have a picture and location of the main water shutoff valve. You can use that to help identify it and locate where it's at. Once you shut off the valve, you'll want to open up the faucets nearby just to drain out any water that's left in the pipes. The first step, twist this off counterclockwise. Now, you'd think this would just pull right off. Nope. I think a lot of people have the same issue where this won't come off. So this is how it's supposed to come off. Just like that. Um, I'm gonna try some WD-40. I put the WD-40 in here. I also put it down here so it goes down the neck. I've been using and this to work it at both angles and pry on it again. I mean, you really gotta work it. You can do it. You got this. So now we can finally take it off. You can see all the buildup that's in there. After you've removed the faucet stem handle, you can place it in some CLR to help remove the calcium deposits that have been built up. So now what I'm gonna do is spin this round. This whole base comes off. Looks like this wasn't even lined up. These, this should be wedged in here, locking this in the up position. So if this gets a little stuck and it's hard to pull off, you just wanna grab this and wiggle it back and forth. So looking inside of here, you can see our spring and gasket. You need to replace that. So what you want to do is get in here and just kind of pop it up. And that will be your spring. So here's the old spring and seat, and this is the new one. It's just a replacement part right here. It's like $3 at your local hardware store. Let's put this over the small end. So what you can do is put it over the top of an Allen key. Put it down in there. Drop it in. You can use your finger for that. I also replaced the faucet stem, also known as the faucet cartridge, shown on screen here, just to ensure that everything wasn't leaking. This ring here, it wasn't lining up. What it should be is turned to line up with these screws. I need them go in here and you just tighten these up. Switching sides to draw the whole, the whole faucet upwards. Now that everything's tightened up, this is solid. Let's 
screw it down. Now I just gotta put this thing back on. Don't over tighten it though. And then put this back in. Now I'll turn on the main water valve. Now with the main water on, 